Do you slide on all your nights like this? Do you try on all your nights like this? I might put some spotlight on the slide. Whatever comes, comes to clear. My eyes are so when I knew it. Morning, everyone. It's not morning. It's Saturday, May 20th, 10, 10 p.m. Your house looks fun. Your house is so <laughs> Only car in a tiny bit going to bed. We literally going to bed at like 7.45. I think I slept a total of five minutes. And then guy just woke us up at 10. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I'm gonna pee my pants in this. <laughs> <laughs> I know we have to pee so bad, but we can't move. I can't pee outside. It's We're gonna like, blow all over me. It's gonna blow. No, and I can just I keep hearing wind, and it like literally shakes the tent. It's like because it's like freezing, freezing, freezing. <laughs> not the summit weather any you didn't. Nope. We just have to tell ourselves that like, so we're gonna start at 11, and then we, I think we'll be up there by seven, and then it's just all downhill from there, right? Which could literally be like <laughs> kind of horrible as well. <laughs> okay, no more crying. I want my eyes to not be so puffy. Oh my god, I look like a wreck. But like, what does it matter? No one's looking at each other. I feel like yesterday we were literally crawling. We were going so slow. Me. Almost there, kind of. <laughs> but also, I feel like what's kind of discouraging is like how slow we're gonna be going, because it's almost like not even walking. Like I can't even describe how slow we walk. Like, <laughs> but like we have to, because like everyone's out of breath. Like I am too. But like, one foot in front of the other takes like ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not great. It's not great. It's not great. <laughs> Not great, not great. I don't think I'm going to vlog the whole way up because it's going to be uh, freezing cold and I'll be crying, maybe throwing up and dark. Maybe at the top I will because it'll be cool there. Like I should vlog there. This camera is freezing my hand. Okay. Goodbye, all. And then another hour to the other peak. I think I got more energy when it got light out too because I was just like, come on, we can do it. Yeah, my back is ruined, wrecked, but it's fine. <laughs> All right, well, I still have a raging headache, but we got like 30 more minutes. So. Yep. Right, we'll Some people feel so sick. Huh? Some people feel so sick. I'm happy you made it. I'm happy you made it. <laughs> I know the view. Guys, look at this view. We're at Stella Point. That was the hardest day of my life, and it's not over yet. Go. Where is it? We're still gonna go up over there. Yeah, it's only like a hundred meters more. Cause that's forty-five more minutes. Yeah, I know. Wait, what's it called? Uru Camp or something? But basically, it's freezing cold. I have two pairs of gloves on, a million layers, and we've been hiking since like what 11 p.m. and just got here. What time is it, by the way? I don't even know. Probably seven. I think it took like eight hours, eight and a half. And my lips are so chapped. Holy. Oh, wait. Group pick.
So, we made it. I've never, been, I've never been this tired in my life. Look at this. My legs don't work right now. But, there you go. We just made it to the first point, Stella Point. It's optional to go an extra 45 minutes to make it to the big point, but hey, We're gonna this... do it, one in Rome. Yeah, I mean, we're already here. Guys, look at all the snow. Ooh, do you wanna trip? That's where we're headed, over there. Cause it's like 100 meters taller. And we just saw an airplane drive by that was like lower down the mountain, so that was trippy. Okay, I'm out of breath. <laughs> No, like actually they deserve like so much. I don't single time they got my back the entire way and literally I would be like struggling in the sun and he'd just pick me up and like lift me up. So true. Ooh, yeah. This is anticlimactic because we're all so dead. <laughs> Yeah, over here would be cool, right? This is insane. Why can't you soon I see my mom? The year one bunny salama. The year one bunny salama. The year one bunny salama. Whoa, I just look red by like turning this on. I feel like when oh, I have marks for my sunglasses. Anyway, as you guys saw, today was summit day. Or I guess summit night was last night. I don't even know because we got up at like 10. And then I think we started hiking at like 11 or 11.30. And went all the way through just now, literally. literally. And it is, I don't even know what time it is. Let's see. 11.55, which is so weird because it feels like nighttime. But I don't know. Also, I feel like I can't hear anything. I need to pop my ears, but whatever. Um, basically, it's just really surreal that it was summer day because that's obviously like what everyone is like. That's why we came and it's over. Yeah, that's like the purpose of coming, and it was just came and gone so quick. It was honestly really awful, and of course we didn't vlog that. Like we never vlogged back things. It was but terrible. It was terrible. <clears throat> it was terrible. It was miserable. It was awful. Yeah, like it was. It was obviously dark from. 11 when we started all the way through and like, like so six cold. yeah and so cold and i literally lexa can vouch for me i was struggling struggle, struggle. i wasn't we weren't sure she was gonna make it yeah i didn't she think i was going to so fast and like she killed it yeah i just like oh it was so hard yeah, then, like, like it was dark too. it was freaking i <laughs> No, literally. It was cold as okay, hell. Like, shout it was out so to cold. all of the. It was, so cold. it was so cold. And the porters like got me through it. Like yeah, I was shout out to I was gonna say that. Shout out porters. to all the porters here because they're all literally amazing people. Adam is so nice. Adam, you're not watching this, but if you were, I love you because he literally carried my bag the entire day. Even we were just coming down, and now I feel better. He was like, no, no, I got it, and we would stop, and I would like sling over a rock and like be dead, and he would sit me up and like feed me biscuits so and nice. water so, nice. so like what a cutie like he didn't even need to do that and, like, he and, and I kept like that. tripping because like, it was dark me, like, my <clears throat> and, like got me like new hand warmers Aww. and like gave me a hug and he's like you can do it I know they're like so encouraging I'll be back I believed in myself because they believed in us oh I look so rough right now but I mean I haven't showered in like six days what do you expect um yeah my head is fried we didn't sleep last night because we finished dinner or something. We could probably start sleeping at like 7, 7.30 and then we had to get up at 10 anyway. And I literally laid in bed the whole time because I like couldn't sleep. And then... <laughs> I'm so excited to start showering and using normal bathrooms again. It's weird how used to peeing in the woods I've gotten. Very used to it. I'm used to it? I'm so used to it. Are you? It's like normal now. 
Oh my god, Lexa, my head hurts and it's like really, really hot and red. I feel like sunburn or something. Plus, it's really hot in here from the sun, which is nice because at nighttime it's freezing cold. Like last night, there was no chance I was going to sleep because it was so cold. Oh, and just so you know, at the top today, it was so cold. And I'm really surprised that I finished because I didn't think I would. And it took a little over eight hours to go to, what's the small one called again? A Oh, um, Stella Point. Stella. Yeah, Stella Point's the smaller one. And that's like technically the summit, but like the big summit is Oahu. Awa Wait, dang it. Oahu. Oahu. I'm saying it wrong. I used to know it, but my, my brain is fried, so I don't know it anymore. <sighs> and a lot of people are having a really rough time with the altitude. That was that's what was weird with me is like right as we started at 11, obviously it was like dark like I said till 6. I was having such a hard time in the beginning like I couldn't keep my eyes open cuz like we didn't sleep and I just kept like stumbling and then the porters would literally just like pick me up and put me on the next like rock ledge that we were like climbing up. But then by the end, I like felt way better. It was so weird. I like gained all my um, energy back. I think it's like when the sun came up actually because I was like excited. It was a really pretty sunrise and then and I like I cried five times just so you know <laughs> I counted because I was just like so like in pain at the beginning like this is sound dumb but I obviously knew altitude sickness was a thing but like not like how serious it is. I don't know like I knew it would make you feel like sick and stuff but like literally so many of us obviously have really bad altitude sickness because the summit was 19,000 something feet so like that's really high like the base camp of Everest is like 17,000 so it's like higher than the base camp of Everest you know. Anyway so today I was really feeling it at like 11, 12, 1, 2 I was like just feeling awful like you just like I felt like a shell of myself like I and that's why in the videos too if you saw when we were at the top top I was with um, Jeremy and we both just felt like awful he was like I literally feel like drunk you know like you just feel like not yourself and stuff because that's what altitude sickness does and you have to be careful because it can get worse and like progress and everything but yeah I literally just didn't feel like myself I couldn't like people would talk to me and like tell me things and I just kept like agreeing with everyone because I like didn't know who was talking to me or like what they were saying like I couldn't like comprehend I was just so out of it I was like a different world you know but like Adam saved the day and was just like spoon feeding me and like feeding me water because like that's literally what you need when you have altitude sickness. Um, and I was like, I'm not about to like not do this. I came all the way here for this. Honestly, in the beginning, I thought that I wasn't gonna make it because I thought I would just keep getting worse and like pass out or something. But um, yeah, I made it somehow, so that was really cool. And the view at the top was so cool. It's just like being at like 19,000 whatever feet just like affects you so much. Like. I don't even know how to describe it because I feel like for those of you that haven't been at high altitudes, like this is my first time and my first time camping. I know I mentioned that before, but like, I don't know. It just takes so much out of you. Like, you literally walk like this slow. I don't even know how to describe it. Like, one foot goes in front of the other so slow and they're so close together because you're just like literally drained and you're breathing like this. <sighs> Cause like there's not as much oxygen in the air. Yeah, that's like the whole reason behind it. But yeah, I think I said this in yesterday's vlog. But my pro tip is breathing in through your nose like this, and then out through your mouth like this. Cause then I don't know that like made me feel like better. Maybe it's all in my head. Uh, basically, I haven't slept in like forever, and I'm probably like crazy right now and not even making any sense. So yeah, that was how summit went. It was really like cool, but like quick, and like I don't know. It was so like built up this whole time that I was like, I can't believe it's like over already, you know. Tonight's our like fifth night sleep. We're at we're at base camp right now actually, which is like the camp that you go to before you do the summit because we were here last night and we just came back because it's like 11 whatever and we're just like napping here and then we're gonna have lunch and then we're hiking like four or five more hours down to like a lower camp, which is so upsetting to me just because we're like so tired. Like we literally hiked eight hours up and then how long did it take to hike down? That's what I was just thinking. Like three yeah, like three hours. And then now we have to go hike another four to another camp. Like we're just gonna stay here. Catch me and Lexa here. We're used to the altitude now anyway. And it's funny because like this feels like low altitude to us now since we were just at like 19,000 feet. But this is I think like 16,000 feet or something. So yeah. And it's crazy how like a couple thousand makes such a difference, but it really does. Like some kids in our group literally are like ill and like can't walk and I think Sasha rolled his ankle and like yeah altitude man it's rough. So everyone I just realized I haven't vlogged since when me and Lexa had our nap earlier 
which was cut short for lunch upsetting because I was more tired than I was hungry. But now we get to sleep for like nine hours. We're so excited. God bless. I'm so, like, we literally are dead because we just, like, didn't sleep last night. But anyway, today was hiking for 17 hours. Is that what we came okay, well, to? 16. Because it was 16. eight up, four down, and then four to camp. Yeah, and then, like, if you add the 10 from, like, yesterday, and we only got two hour nap in between, so it was, like, 26 hours of camping with two hours of sleeping. Yeah, it was honestly horrible, but it's okay because now we sleep a lot, and we'll be able to, like, pass out because we're just, like, everyone's so tired. Like, everyone's just out of it because of, like hiking the summit today Everybody's it feels it so feel no one thinks it's real because like we did it in the dark it feels like a dream and no one slept oh my god a bug it's a fly it's like timeless hi hi um oh yeah everyone let's take their malaria medicine i took mine too and people say it gives you weird dreams so i think it might honestly hello oh it's kidding. <laughs> that was scary um yeah oh i have to tell them about sasha guys it was so scary so basically during lunch after our nap everyone's like okay who's missing and it was katie jill and sasha and i went to their tent i feel like the sleeping arrangements are so confusing the first night it was me and sasha and then the second night it was me lexa emma alex and then the third night it was me lexa fourth night me lexa fifth night me lexa <laughs> and then sasha the first night i left him slept alone and then the second night jill and katie were like sleep with us because like honestly sleeping with more people is way better because then you're just warmer anyway so i went to their tent during lunch to like wake them up and like katie and jill got up and i was like okay wake sasha up and katie was like shaking sasha and he like wouldn't wake up and i was like okay stop being dumb and i was like shaking him i was like sasha get up <coughs> and he like wasn't moving at all he was like out cold and then yesi who's like running our um What's it called? Like our trek? Like our, he's like our head guide or whatever. Yeah, yeah, he's like the head guide. He like comes in and he's like, alright Sasha, it's Yessie, like time to wake up. Literally doesn't move. And then Yessie's like shaking him. And then Yessie literally like sits him up. Like Yessie goes in the tent with them, like this little area. And like sits like back there. And like pulls Sasha up like on his chest. And he's literally like, Sasha wake up. And he's like slapping his cheeks and stuff. He like doesn't put up with any BS. And Sasha just like wouldn't wake up. And we were like, that's kind of scary. And I was like, his face looks kind of pale. And we weren't with him because we like sped down the mountain after because like it took like eight hours to go up I and then to it took us like literally three hours me Alexa Emma and Tom and I think Ryan too to like go down because yeah. we just like we literally like, just, like, slid right down yeah. the dirt we're like we have to get back and go to sleep um but like Sasha and other people were taking like a really long time and then so we weren't with him but people were saying that like five guides had to carry him down the mountain because he like hurt his knee or his ankle, ankle or something but I haven't even talked to him since like the summit because we were sleeping and then at lunch and then he got taken away so then when Yessie like couldn't wake him up um his he like was opening his eyes and stuff and his eyes just kept like rolling in the back of his head it was so scary and he like he was like how are you like wake up like I don't know like just like trying to talk to me you know and I saw he like put his thumbs up and at first when he like kept not waking up I was like okay come on like I know you're tired but everyone's tired like wake up but, like no he's like actually not okay so then they took all his vitals and those are all good except he has a really low blood like oxygen, oxygen content which like obviously makes sense because we're in like such high altitude and like everyone probably has a low oxygen content but his was like extremely low so that's why he like could not be like conscious and was just so exhausted so they literally took him in his little sleeping bag put him on this stretcher and just like took him right out of camp right away and we thought they were going to bring him to a lower um altitude camp which is where we are right now um but they ended up just taking him we knew they were going to bring him here or the hospital or the hotel and they just brought him to the hotel so they put like an oxygen mask on him so that probably helped enough and then he's just at the hotel and at dinner we were joking i was like oh my gosh sasha's, sasha's worst nightmare like he's like alone in a hotel like he'll have like no one to like talk to and i was like oh, okay like call his phone like call alana and like whatever but then katie and um jill were like no like they literally grabbed him in his sleeping bag put him on the stretcher and took him out like all the stuff is here his phone his everything and they just like packed it up for him so he's literally like stranded in this hotel no toothbrush no clothes like what is he doing but whatever he'll figure it out i feel like he's probably sleeping yeah no he's like he's like he so exhausted because like everyone's exhausted but also he like talks instead of sleeps a lot i feel so I don't know I just feel so bad it was so scary seeing him like like seeing like he literally was just like draped in Yessie's arms like so like lifeless and I was like oh that's really scary oh it was so scary he was like hunched over like he had like no like he just like wasn't conscious but anyway I hope he's feeling better and we're gonna go to bed and hey, it's Sasha, 9 you're p.m. Watching this. Like, yeah, I Sasha, we're watching better. this love you I literally just like felt so bad when they were trying to like wake him up I was like like wake up like we're all tired come on 
like, come on, buddy. And literally when he like wasn't like moving at all, I was gonna be like, take his pulse. And then I was like, no, too scared to say that. Like, so you're gonna feel like he doesn't have a pulse. I don't know. But um, yeah, he does have a pulse. He just has no oxygen in his blood. But like, none of us do. Take his literally pulse. at lunch, at lunch, everyone, no, more than half of our people were just dying. Not, they weren't alive. Like they at lunch, like, everyone's head were like this. weren't at lunch or they were like, Asleep. Yeah, like I literally grabbed a bag of vitamin C that I brought, walked around the table, and was like, You take vitamin C, you take vitamin C, because I just want everyone to be healthy. But then by dinner, since we went, we hiked like four hours down to like a lower altitude, like everyone was feeling way better. And hopefully, Sasha is too. I feel so bad. And we can't even like talk to him because we don't have service because we're still like 3,000 meters in the air. Um, and he might, but oh, he doesn't have his phone anyway. So yeah, there's really no way to contact him. Anyway. Thanks for watching today's vlog. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>